welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are doing a purple with a little bit of pink and some white eyeliner and some bow lashes. And this is kind of like a Valentine's Day inspired look as well. Just something a little bit different. Something a little bit out of anybody's comfort zone if you're not really used to playing with color like me. So we're going to be using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss Palette. And these are the colors that it comes with. This palette was only $15 at the Long Beach Hair Show. And I think it's sold out now, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe you can look for it on online. Maybe you find it. This is a look that I came up with. If you want to learn how to recreate it, go ahead and keep watching this video. And don't forget to follow my Instagram. I will link it down below right here in this area. Follow my Instagram and make sure you like this video. And we'll see you in the next one. So taking the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. This is called... Bling Boss. Let me see all the colors. Obviously, I already dipped into it, so I have one eye done. So we're gonna go ahead and do this eye. I've already primed my eyelid with the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer. I'm gonna start by taking this BH Cosmetics blending brush. It's a regular brown blending brush. And I'm gonna take the color Hush Hush. Do some right here. I'm gonna wing it out this way. Now before I do add any other color, I am going to put some tape. So I normally wouldn't add tape, but I do want that crisp line that you see right there. I want it to come out extra crispy. So secondly, I'm going to take my E28 brush. Obviously, it's one of my favorite blending brushes because it's a pointed brush. And I like these pointed brushes to do like a cut crease look because it's just much easier to swoop it out. So I'm taking the color Mystic. This one right here. And I'm going to apply it as if I were doing like a super like wing look. And then go up this way. So I recently purchased this palette at the hair show in Long Beach at the Morphe booth. And when I swatched it, I swatched the darker colors because I wanted to see the, how good the dark pigments were. And honestly, I wasn't impressed. I wasn't. But the color that got me was this color right here, Bling Bling. It is amazing. I'm just going to swatch it just because it's Beautiful. It just looks amazing. It has a really nice sparkle to it. Yeah, so that's the color that actually caught my attention. Once I swatched that, I was like, okay, I need this palette. So I'm just adding little by little as I go because I don't want it to be too dark to where I'm not able to blend it properly. So I also picked out three brushes from the Morphe booth. One being... E19, this is like a flat brush, you can see that right there. And so I'm gonna use this and I am gonna dip it into this color Rockstar, right here. So I just dab it on here and then I blended it out. So once I finished, I did clean the brush. I always have a towel in hand to switch colors. I just... And then I did use my Norvina palette. You guys know I'm obsessed with the color Love. <clears throat> so I did take this color and dip into it. And I'm adding this from the inner corner of the eye all the way. So I'm like kind of meeting it together so that way it blends in well, this is another brush that I bought I'm now taking the M514 this is a small taper blending brush I'm just blending everything together in circular motions and then since it is right in the crease area so you want to do circular motions and windshield wipers just so that everything can blend very nicely So 
So now I'm taking my M169. It's like a pointer, pointy blending brush. More on the shorter side. I'm gonna dip back into Mystic. This one, where is it? This one right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply more in the outer corner because I want the lid area to pop out a little bit more. So now I'm taking concealer and taking the Morphe angled brush. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease. Going back with the Morphe 169 and taking Mystic, the darkest color. I'm gonna blend this in right here. Now going with the same brush, I'm gonna take the color Rockstar and I'm gonna blend it right here. Back with the E19 brush. I'm taking the color Love from the Norvina palette and I'm taking the color Rockstar from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just kind of blurring out the cut crease line. Okay. And I did do one eye off camera just because I didn't know where I was going with this look. I hadn't played with any like purple shades in a while. So it's coming together. We're getting somewhere. So this is another brush that I bought at the hair show. This is a Morphe R42 and it's a flat brush. And I'm gonna take the color Ballsy. Like a purple shimmer with the pink iridescent. Let me spray it out. So taking this Morphe, um, you can say it's like a pointer blending brush, kind of deeper a little bit, uh, from the Rose Gold Collection. I'm just blending everything together. I'm adding and blending. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, so I didn't like the way it was blending out right here in the where that white eyeliner is. So I was like, let me just add some white eyeliner real quick. So now I'm gonna go in with the NYX eyeliner in blank. Obviously it's white. that crispy line cut it get it get it so now moving on to the foundation taking the matte poreless shake that up a little bit oh with my real techniques sponge Instant Rewind, Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. This is in the color Light Pale. I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight my under eyes. If I take some product out, it'll come out. <gasps> now I'm taking the the Ben Nye Banana Powder. 
I'm gonna melt it under my eyes. So taking my all-time favorite hula bronzer. To warm up my face. These eyelashes are in the style Glamorous. These are by Divino Lashes. We're gonna apply them with the duo. While my lashes dry, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the lower lash line. We're gonna start off by using Love with the E19 Morphe brush. And then with Mystic, right in the corner of the outer eye, just so that the colors meet. So now going in with the Aurora Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I am gonna take... I'm gonna take my Morphe 510, dip into Eclipse right here. Just apply that all over. You know what, I'm gonna mix Eclipse and Luna. I'm gonna use the lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Dusty Mauve. Now I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. The sticker fell off, so I don't know what color it is, but it's a light pink lip gloss, and I'm gonna put it right in the center. This is what I came up with. This is like another Valentine's Day inspired look. Um, I don't know about the lip, but I mean it goes with the purple eyeshadow and the purple background. So we're going to go ahead and leave it. Thank you guys so much for watching and staying through this whole tutorial. If, if you guys want me to create any more looks, use certain colors, certain palettes, let me know. If I don't have them, I'll go get them. But leave me a comment down below, give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Um. <coughs> yeah, I'll call you. Alright, for sure. Bye-bye. So, let me see. Oh, excuse me. So taking these, this, these.